Welcome back to Smart Watch Ticks. This is the third in three videos to kick you off and get you started on installing apps in your Android based standalone smart watch phone if you have one that has access to the Play Store. You want to do this on no matter which watch you're using. But today, because we did the unboxing and setup of the developer options uh, with the ZG PAX S8 watch, we're going to continue working with that one. Now, what I've done since the last video was go in and put in that tiny little keyboard input to access and start up on my uh, internal uh, Wi-Fi network. Then I went in and with that tiny little keyboard put in my credentials to log in to the Google Play Store. Then I searched on this app called M-O-B-I-Z-E-N, MobiZen. And right now I'd like to give a hat tip to Dripple, Drippler. <laughs> Drippler is an app that reviews other apps. And a long time ago they mentioned this particular app as being amazing. And it is beyond amazing. Developers and everyone... I was really going to need this app if you're going to do anything serious on a smartwatch. What MobiZen does is it allows you to interface your phone, your watch, or any Android device directly to your computer, Mac, or PC and access and operate it from a web browser. That's really powerful, especially when you need to do things with the keyboard and you don't want to try to peck it out on the little watch. So. You're going to go through and you're going to install on your watch and on your computer MobiZen. All right. This app is very powerful. And again, it's for PC screen mirroring control. You can do screen recording and file transfer. Primarily what we want to be able to do is use it to remotely access the Play Store and load up the different applications into your smartwatch. We set the developer op options so that when it's powered up, it won't turn off. And when you link it over Wi-Fi to MobiZen, you'll be able to do all the cool things that you've been seeing in the videos here on Smartwatch Ticks. So take the time, do it right, go in, find and download this particular app. It's updated all the time. You're very safe and secure because it's a two-password uh, authentication you have to put on both devices to link them on your own Wi-Fi system. But once you've got that going right in the web browser, you can do everything. Okay, so you've got everything you need now to get started on one of these Android-based smartwatch phones that has the Google Play Store. We'll talk more about this in detail and show you how it works on the computer. But for right now, I'm going to be taking a break and you guys... Pick up yourself a Z15 or an S8 watch. We'll be comparing the two of them here later. 